Hello guys, um, I want to do this video just to show you that I went on and did a little haul. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a haul because it was just this one thing. Um, these are new brushes. Because as you can see, my brushes were not that good when I was using my triple thick. And uh, the reason why is was because the brushes I have, most of them, first of all, I don't have like too many. And uh, we can go through them and I can show you why I bought this packet. Is because the reason is... This, these are all my brushes, okay? So, there's a lot of variety of brushes here. Some are good and some are not that good at all. Like, let's, let's separate them and I'll show you what I mean. Um, okay. These are like, supposed to be good brushes. I mean, these are, like, for example, you can see this one is a is from Westwater Enterprise. So these are basically all the brushes I have plus this one that I use for my big projects um, when I have to like smooth them out with a little bit of Sculpey softener like this and um, this is dedicated only for that I choose this one because I have some other brushes that are for other things that I don't use it for my sculpting so this red one is just dedicated only for that so it's separated from everybody else um, so as you can see I would I I have this is all the brushes I have so there's no flat brushes which I really like a lot because the flat brushes sometimes when you're painting a sculpture or something they're kind of more um, specific to what you want to do um, this you see there's a vary here there's no consistency on my brushes I would say the best brush here would be this one, which I had not too long ago. And this is basically a zero, which is very thin to make like little details. And it's re this is really good. Um, all of these were owned a long time ago and they're okay. I mean, I have to clean them up because they're a little messed up because I really don't use them that much but as you can see they're all different sizes and usually very small because <laughs> I like to do a lot of detail like this one for example is like really 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 small this must be like a zero 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 a double zero or a triple zero I don't know so uh, they're soft, they're good, but I don't like using them for like what I was doing the other day, which was applying triple thick, because this one are um, more for painting. So that's, that's those. And these ones are like my souvenir, I guess, brushes, which are cheap. They were very cheap, like less than a dollar. And I use them for, for that, for like using glue or using, um, you name it, uh, those glaze things. And uh, the, the most important thing about the glaze, though, is that when you use glaze and you use your brushes, the best thing to do is run to the bathroom or wherever you have a sink and wash them out. Because what happens is that if you left the brush with the with a product it's gonna get stiff and your brush you will end up you know throwing it away because there's no way your brush is gonna function anymore that's the only little thing that's a tip I should have given you in my other previous video because it's important to, to know that a lot of people don't know and, and they keep <laughs> using them and they have to end up you know throwing away the brushes so that's that 
So because of the lack of good brushes I had, um, I went out and picked up this yesterday. It's a uh, Artist Loft Fundamental brushes. They are synthetic brushes. I have 10 pieces over here. It says that they're good for acrylic watercolors and oil painting. Um, you can see you have uh, the brush types and sizes. It tells you exactly. It was only four bucks. Um, and I had a coupon that came out like for two fifty. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't beat the price. So, um, I think these brushes are gonna do what I what I want to do accomplish uh, on my other video with, with with glazing with the triple thick. Um, the the stiffer the brushes, the better it is to apply that type of product. That that I know I, because I I was thinking after afterwards I did the video I was thinking, what other type of brush you know that I don't have there I could use, other than if you wanna use like a, I don't know like a bigger brush like a painting brush and just but I think those like for example I have. One over here. Let me show you really quick. And I know they come like in small, like like this one. They're smaller though. You can buy these, and they're smaller. Um, the bristles are very thick, but I think when you brush with this, what's going to happen if you brush with this on with the triple thick or this? Or the Sculpey gloss glaze is that you're gonna leave lines behind behind it it's gonna give some sort of texture that's the only problem I see with this type of brush and you can buy them bigger if you want to these are more more like painting brushes um, but uh, I think these are gonna do the trick guys so I got 10 I'm going to use them wisely and uh, this will bring more quality to my work and also will bring more alternative uh, when I'm using different type of paintings or, or, or gloss or whatever I'm going to apply to my sculptures. So there you go. So they look good. I don't know if I should open them and do like an open package thing and yeah let's do it an open package and see how they feel that will be good get the package out so here we are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten they're soft they're not they're not that they're okay but I think the fact that they're synthetic this is gonna help a lot especially with that uh, triple thick product that I, I did a video before if you don't know what triple thick is um, just go to my previous video and you can check it out uh, if you do know what triple thick is you know what I'm talking about so I think these brushes are gonna do the trick. They have uh, fine brushes like this. These are like, let me see if you can see that. But these are like very fine brushes. And then I got the flat brushes like this. These are like the big flat brushes. And then I have like the smaller. There's only one these are like smaller flat as you can see and this is the only one that is like flat round so yeah so thank you guys for watching this video I hope it was a little helpful I, I thought it would be nice to do a video like this to let you know um, that my brushes were not as good as I thought they were because I really never invested on them I used to have, a long time ago, I used to have like 
like very very good brushes but that that is no longer with me anymore and uh, in the past I was just buying whatever little brush I would like and that was it you know didn't want to spend too much money but now that I'm coming back to serious work um, I think I need these are not like the you know super duper brushes but hey you know they're gonna do the trick I mean I don't think I need nothing like more expensive uh, right now for what I'm working on so if you like what you see like the video please rate comment and subscribe and uh, thanks for coming to my channel and thanks for watching